Hey, what's going on guys? Garden Shed here and welcome. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, today I thought we'd talk to do a little gear review on earplugs. Now, lots and lots of people deci decide to wear earplugs. Great, lots of people don't. So I've also made a video in the past about how hearing loss has impacted me and my life and I'll pop a link to the video just up there. So before we get into it, there are foam earplugs, which is basically a bit cone shaped foam. You stick it in your ear and it pretty much blocks out all the sound. The great thing about foam earplugs is they're incredibly, incredibly cheap. You can buy 50 or so for a few pounds. You know, you use them once and you chuck them away. So they're incredibly cheap to replace. You buy them in bulk, so you're never gonna run short. The downside to foam earplugs is they block out all sound. The problem with that is you can't hear your surroundings. If you've got comms in, something like that, you probably can't hear it. You can't hear music. Lack of being able to hear massively decreases your spatial awareness. Bespoke earplugs, so you take a mold of your ear, a company creates an earplug around that exact mold. So you know when you get these, they fit straight away. Benefit of these is they are designed for your ear, so they sit more much more comfortably in it. They typically have filters in or you can even get speakers and things like that. So you can actually physically wire in your comms or your music if you really want to. But the downside of these is the cost. They're between, you know, you can pay from 80 to 200 pounds for some of the leading brands, depending on the different options you want with your earplugs. For me, I've always gone with filtered earplugs. Now filtered earplugs, such as the Pinlog ones, which this review is going to be about, I mean, these are about £20 from most bike retailers. You can buy them from Sports Bike Shop, Amazon, anywhere pretty much. And they provide the best of both worlds. Obviously, they're lower on cost. And because they have a filter, they do exactly what they say on the tin. They filter the sound. So you can't hear, you know, the, the high volume sounds such as wind noise and things like that. It dulls it right down. However, you can still hear things. You can still hear your engine sound. You can still hear traffic around you you can hear people talking you can hear your comms through them you know you don't need to wire it in you just put them in put your helmet on so you don't have that total sound blockage it just blocks out the harmful sounds to your ears so for me i find them the best because i constantly lose earplugs i'm just terrible at it you know you open it up and one falls out anything oh god these they're cheap enough that you can just carry a spare pair with you so if you happen to lose one it's no big deal you know if you lose a bespoke earplug Obviously, it's another £80 to have another set made, so you're less likely to have a spare. So if you're out touring, something like that, and you lose an earplug, you're pretty much scuppered. You're going to have to go and find some to buy. And the thing with earplugs is they don't always fit incredibly well. It's a bit like the size of your fingers if you wear a ring or something like that. Everyone's fingers are different. Everyone's are a different size, and it's exactly the same with your ears. When I first started riding, I actually went through about six or seven different brands of earplug until I finally settled on on these pinlock ones. And I tried riding in more, I mean, I've tried Alpine, I've tried Oritech, you know, the leading brands. And for me personally, I actually found them a little bit big in my ears, so they were falling out. Whereas the great thing about the pinlocks is you buy one pack and you get two sizes of earplug, which is fantastic. So if you have smaller ears, they fit perfectly. So these are the pinlock earplugs. You may have heard of pinlock, they also make the visor inserts. They come in this little sort of polystyrene carry case it's actually not that big for example that's my phone so it's not a huge huge difference i mean they are slightly thick but the nice thing about the case is obviously because it's thicker at one and thinner at the other you know you can pop it in your pocket and it sits really nicely against your leg you don't i don't actually tend to notice if i've got these in my pocket of my trousers um but you can still grab them out really easily without it taking up too much space for your 20 pounds you get a little instruction booklet which we're going into the middle minute and you get two large and two medium sized ones so as i say you know depending on the size of your ear depends on which one you might want to wear this is the actual earplug itself so it is very very simple and it just has that little red filter in there and that's the bit that does all the sound dampening now the great thing about these is you only get one pair of filters but you can give it a squeeze and you can pull the filter out just like that and then you can use you know, switch it to the medium ones, etc. It's also brilliant because you can take the filter out and give them a really, really good clean without affecting the sound dampening and then just put the filter back in. Now, getting the filter back in is a little bit trickier because it's rubber. Whoops, there we go, see? And then it just sits nice and neatly and tidily in there. And it won't come out. I've never had one of these filters because of the sort of shape of the rubber around it, the way it contracts and the shape around the filter. I've never had one of the filters pop out. Now, this is actually quite a different shape compared to most filtered earplugs that you see on the market. Most of them tend to have like a stem that comes out 
and the filter actually is in the end of the stem. I find that the little stem that comes out when I put my helmet on, it catches on the helmet and pulls the earplug out. I much prefer the shape of these because the only bit that sort of could almost sit slightly outside your ear, which I haven't found does, um, is this tiny little bit of rubber. And of course, if the helmet brushes past it, you don't notice it. I have found with helmets, I can't feel this touching against the helmet when I put the helmet on. It doesn't get knocked loose. The easiest thing to do when you're putting them in is you basically hold the little rubber bit between your thumb and your fourth finger, and you pull up the top of your ear, and you put it into your ear, and then you literally just give it like a quarter turn, and that seals it into your ear. Really, really easy to tell if they're in or not. You can basically say, a word and it will sound slightly different it will sound muffled you'll definitely know if these are in it properly or not um, which is really nice the other thing i tend to do is i'll put my helmet on before i do it up i'll open and close the visor if i can hear the spring mechanism inside the visor then i know that i've not got it fitted properly so i just take my helmet off it pull it out put it back in and i found that's the easiest thing but most of the time i have no issues with these and i find once they're in they don't come loose you can ride six seven hours a day without actually taking them out can still hear people talking and things so more often than not, I'll often walk into petrol stations and things like that, still with these in. I can still hear the cashier or somebody talking to me, a bit of friend or whatever. And they're perfectly comfortable. I've found no issues, you know, wearing these for seven, eight hours a day. And um, that's medium size and basically it's narrower there. It's also a little bit shallower if you have smaller ears. And I would recommend trying both. So what I actually tend to do if I'm going touring, etc., and this is why I have this pack that I've never worn, I will actually put a second pack somewhere in my luggage because it doesn't take up much space and it just means if i do happen to lose an earplug either or lose the entire case i do have a backup option they are really really good as i say you can hear comms and things with them they're not discomforting at all um, i find they don't move once they're in they don't come loose sort of halfway through a journey which i've had with orotex and things like that they actually fell out of my ears there's a decent level of hearing protection to them and that is why i would highly recommend these to anyone for 20 pounds you, you can't go wrong you might want to try a couple of different brands just in case these don't work for you there is a little space in here to be able to put something like a key it's actually the same size as a credit card this instruction booklet sorry the camera is the other way around and it basically tells you how to correctly place the filter in the earplug and also the different steps to be able to do it um, so really really simple they are up to european standard and also american standard and um, so you can get these in various different places but it is a really really simple product i really like them as i say i've tried all sorts um, and i find these are the best ones for me i'll put a link down below to a place where you can buy them as with all my reviews these are not endorsed they're not given to me free of charge this is a key part of the kit that i always ride in and it's something that i've invested my own money into and i've bought time and time again and so far i have not found a set of filtered earplugs that works better for me than the PLL and care plugs. Only downside can be just getting that seal, but once you get the knack of it, it's actually pretty simple. So once they are in, they are really, really easy to take out. All you have to do is just find the little rubber bit and just pull it out, um, simple as that. So yeah, um, incredibly easy product to use, really worthwhile using, especially if you're doing long distance and things like that, but I would recommend to anyone, whenever you climb on a motorbike, just pop your earplugs in. I recently saw a video of someone that had this wired setup. It was about 10 minutes to get it all set into their helmet. Um, and I think that's the thing. The faff can put a lot of people off wearing earplugs. With these, there's no faff. I mean, it is literally just in, out. So yes, if you're after a set of earplugs, I would highly recommend you trying the pin locks. They've worked really well for me. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you ever so much for watching and take care.